All right, are you ready for this? I've been waiting to do this video for some time. I'm talking about Les Eaux Primordiales. It's a new house. Not really. They're just getting around here in the States. They are now sold at Ministry of Scent here in San Francisco. But I think you're going to see a lot of this house next year. And I've been really wanting to talk about their fragrances and I finally can't get to do that for you today. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about four of their fragrances in the main portion of the video. There's going to be a bonus section with three additional fragrances. So I think uh, you guys need to pay attention because this is one of the best houses I've discovered for some time. All the fragrances are so polished and so amazing smelling that, like I said, I couldn't wait to tell you about them. I've spoken about one of their fragrances in the past, uh, Color Premier, but in this video I'm talking about four main fragrances, three additional fragrances. So find out all about Les Eaux Primordiales coming right up. much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yes, this is a house that I'm really, really excited about. Their fragrances are so, so, so cool. They're created by Amélie Bourgeois and the founder, the main man behind the brand, Arnold Paulin. But the fragrances uh, of the brand are now sold at Ministry of Scent. I have a link in the info box for all of the fragrances. And as I said, I think you're going to hear a lot about this brand next year when they roll out all over the country. But now they are currently sold here in San Francisco at Ministry of Scent. And I'm so, so excited about talking about their fragrances. As I mentioned also, I have spoken about Color Premier in the past. Uh, it's a great laundry, fresh, clean, fizzy, sparkling, aldehydic fragrance. But that's in the bonus section. But I'm going to talk to you about four fragrances. The first one will be Mechanique Intuitive. Super delicious fragrance, perfect for the holidays because it smells like a spicy holiday dessert. Then we're going to talk about their most popular fragrance, Ombre Super Fluid. We're going to talk about Oud Super Fluid. Oh my God, this is one of the best Oud fragrances. Now I'm not sure how real or true the Oud is. They do claim it's Laotian Oud. But to me, it smells like Oud at church. And I don't know, I, I love the way that smells. Really something comforting and spiritual about it. Finally, in the main portion of the video, I'm going to talk to you about Santal Superfluid. But on my trip, on my way to France and Italy, I stopped in London and I did get to sample their newest, Vini Supermassive. Oh my, what a great vanilla fragrance. You're going to find out about that one in the bonus section. All right, let's first talk about Mechanique Intuitive. We're going with the clear bottle first because the rest of the fragrances are the Super Fluid collection, which all come in uh, the black bottles. But this is the clear bottle fragrance, and it is super, super delicious. This features notes of tonka beans, vanilla, rum, tobacco, osmanthus, black tea, leather, and castorium. So as I was saying, the fragrances are created by the collaboration between the main man from the brand, Arnold Polan, and also Amélie Bourgeois. Let me tell you a little bit about her. I've seen her name come up quite a bit and I am really intrigued and enjoy a lot of her creations. And she's done fragrances, well she works for Flair in Paris and she's done fragrances for Alexander J, BDK, Born to Stand Out, Dorsey, Evody, Frappin, Javoy, L'Orchestre Parfum, Le Galleon, Liquid Imaginaire, Lumari, Menditerosa, Noemi, or Noem, Obvious Parfums, Otop, Olibert, Parfumerie Particulaire, Room 1015, Soradora, Versatile Paris, and Volney. So her name comes up quite a bit when I, you know, review fragrances. And again, this collaboration between her and Arnold Polan is amazing because they're creating some of the most refined fragrances. Really wearable, but super um, polished. Everything is so clean in the finest, finest delivery of the ingredients in the fragrances. So I got to preview all the fragrances and I fell in love with these fragrances. That's why I'm talking to you about them. And the first one, as I said, is Mechanique Intuitive. This is a, a holiday fragrance come alive in a super delicious way. Yes, it reminds me of fragrances like Wajan, Ambre Narguile, and things like that. But this is in the style of Les Eaux Primordiales. They've done a great job with it. It's just really, really super cozy and delicious. Sure, there's lots of tonka beans, so you've got that kind of nutty bitterness here meshed with this beautiful syrupy vanilla. And then, of course, rum comes in as well, adds this beautiful boozy layer to the fragrance. You've got that ashiness from the tobacco, so it does stand out a bit, but it doesn't get overly ashy like something like tobacco vanille. It's uh, still, you know, like a gourmand take rather than 
you know, you've got this uh, combo of gourmand and something completely different like the ash and tobacco. Here, it's definitely very gourmand. The tobacco just adds a bit of contrast, a light dirtiness to the fragrance. But they've also thrown in osmanthus, which creates this fruitiness to the fragrance. There's fruitiness for sure here. Then leather and castorium. Yes, it does get a bit animalic. That's way later in the stage of the fragrance because when you first wear the fragrance, it's this most amazingly polished, take on a spicy, boozy, vanillic gourmand fragrance. Super, super amazing. Again, this will satisfy those folks that are into fragrances like Wajan, Ombre Narguile. What else is there? That's Angel Share is there from Killian. All these fragrances like that. It's a, it's a style. It's this very, very popular kind of cozy, gourmandish uh, style of fragrances. And I think this is uh, definitely going to satisfy because it smells super, super delicious. This one, among the four main ones that I'm going to talk to you about, is the most gourmand in the collection. And again, as I said, this will satisfy quite a bit of people. So hopefully you guys will get a chance to get your nose on Mechanique Intuitive. This is it right here. I love the name for this fragrance. I'm not sure it fits the fragrance, but... I don't care, I love the name anyway. Let's go ahead and quickly smell the fragrance as well, just to give you a little bit more info on the fragrance. Yep, very, very vanillic, very, very spicy. I feel like there's also the idea of cinnamon and cloves in here, more cinnamon rather than cloves. But I feel like the tobacco might be contributing to the spiciness. The tonka beans comes in. It's very, very kind of a bitter almondy, uh, kind of nutty. And then of course the booziness of the rum is super, super delicious. I love this one. This is really, really great. And the fact that we're heading into the holidays, I think that's a perfect, perfect fragrance to wear during the holidays or to smell like the holidays, you know? Because it smells like the holidays to me. All right, so the next fragrance I'm going to talk to you about, supposedly it's their most popular from the house. It's Ombre Super Fluid, this one right here. So this one has notes of cinnamon, black tobacco, honey, vanilla, rum, benzoin, amber, cardamom, apple, fir balsam, sesame, rose, and bergamot. I do want to say, again, going back to Amelie Bourgeois, I've smelled so many of her fragrances. I can tell that she's got this style. She's done fragrances like the these for other houses and makes sense that she's uh, doing fragrances like this uh, like this and I can see this one being a crowd pleaser and you know a big popular one for the brand and there are the kind of notes in here that would satisfy a lot of different people it's an amber in the end but not your traditional amber like let's say MFK's Grand Soir or something like Maitre Parfum at Gantier's Ombre Perso once again there's nothing like let me uh, explain, like you've run through the ingredients through a strainer and you've left all the residue behind because the fragrances are so, so polished. You've got this kind of polished experience, like really, really refined experience with all the fragrances. Uh, after all, it's definitely an amber. It does have a bit of a holiday vibe, but not as much as the previous one. The cinnamon is in here, the tobacco's in here, the honey's in here. You've got apple as well. But something different about this one, when I wear it, I feel like I get like, herbs thrown in with the amber. Let me go ahead and quickly smell it for you and tell you a little bit more about it. I feel like there's like herbs of Provence thrown in here. Something is very herbal and, uh, you know, aromatic. I feel like I'm getting things like uh, savory and sage and rosemary and thyme and things like that thrown in with all of the kind of syrupy, honeyed, kind of notes and ingredients. And perhaps it's caused by the fur balsam that's in here. But on me, it smells, it's, it wears super honeyed and super spicy and vanillic, but really a wonderful offering from the house. I think this really is a, a kind of fragrance that people might be intrigued because it's an amber. The name of the amber is in the name, obviously, but to me, it doesn't smell like any other ambers out there. So perhaps that's why it's become one of their more uh, popular fragrances. But really, I think it should satisfy. It smells like it's kind of a crowd pleaser. Other people that, you know, smell the fragrance off of another person will smell, you know, this unique fragrance and will be pleasantly surprised by how great this other person would, would smell. So I feel like that's, got, uh, that's what it's got going for it as well as the fact that it is a pretty intense fragrance. But once again, very, very polished. All these fragrances are extremely refined and polished. All right, next up, we've got Oud Super Fluid, this one right here. So this is an Oud fragrance that is unlike any other. So as I said, I've been bored of Oud. 
really have been bored of oud. This is an exciting oud for me. So as I was saying earlier also, I don't know if the oud is real. They do claim that it's Laotian oud or Laos oud, but they also have, in addition to the oud, Gayak wood, sesame, benzoin, vanilla, bitter orange. So sesame has come up twice, but I notice it more in oud superfluid versus ambre superfluid. The, the sesame is definitely here, and I feel like it's contributing to the, the ingredients or notes in here to give me a, like a church-esque vibe. I don't know where I'm getting that, but I feel like I'm wearing oud in a church, but it's a very kind of a small, dark church. The smell kind of stays inside, doesn't, you know, escape from uh, the fact that it's a big space. You've got this like very interesting essence captured in there that I really quite like about this one. In the end, it's very resinous and smoky and spicy. It is warm, but I feel like it's not like uber warm for me. There's there's like kind of a chilly vibe next to the warmth of the fragrance. Really an awesome, awesome, uh, you know, creation. I think, again, polished, refined, everything is run run through a strainer, everything like the dirt has stayed at, on in the strainer, but whatever is run through the strainer is what they're using. I just that's just the way the fragrances uh, wear on me. But let's go ahead and quickly uh, smell wood super fluid as well and let you know a little bit more about it. Yep, it's like church oud at church. There's definitely a smoky, incense -y vibe, even though they don't mention it. Although they do mention the benzoin, so benzoin uh, sweetens things up. Then maybe it has some, um, you know, like a uh, sweetness as well. And then of course it does have smokiness, but this is on another level of quality. Uh, I just just love it. Maybe it's conjuring up some scent memories for me as a child going to church, and you know family using the frankincense and things like that uh, it just has a very religious and spiritual kind of a quality that uh, just conjuring up some scent memories for me I think that's what it is because as soon as I put my nose on it it takes me back to my childhood and religion and church and things like that even though it's a fragrance about oud it's so good this oud is amazing again this is not like your traditional Middle Eastern style oud absolutely not if that's what you're into this is not it at least to me it's not I just love it for the fact that ha I get scent memories from it when I smell it. But either way, Oud Super Fluid, a wonderful offering from this house. And last but not least, we've got Santal Super Fluid, this one right here. So, great fragrances. This to me is, from what I remember when I was wearing it, it's kind of like a laundry clean sandalwood fragrance. So it has Australian sandalwood, plums, saffron, violet, ambroxan, cedar, cystus labdanum, musks, rose oxide, and bergamot. But you know what? It is a laundry clean sandalwood, but for sure, for, for sure, you're going to notice plums. Plums are pretty prominent in here. So the combination of this woody laundry clean sandalwood and a fruity plums, really, really great combo. But let's go ahead and smell this. Again, these are sold currently at Ministry of Scent in San Francisco. And I have to say, this is one of the best brands I've discovered this year. Although I didn't discover the brand this year, I discovered it last year at the Javoy in Paris. Uh, and uh, there I got to discover the fragrances. But this is the year I really dug into the brand. And now I'm talking to you guys about it. But yeah, this sandalwood is very clean but the plums do come in. It does have a bit of a leathery vibe. And then also, I feel like the plums and the violet really do work wonderfully together. And uh, there's certainly this kind of candied violet-like quality, but in a fruity way, because it's kind of like meshed with the plums and things like that. But once again, really, really wonderful fragrance. It does settle to more of an ambery characteristic, but along the way, you've got musks thrown in, you've got uh, this uh, ambroxan coming in, and the ambroxan creates this uh, dry characteristic in the fragrance. And even though I feel like sandalwood needs to be the creamy kind, that's the kind I like, not the kind that uh, Lelabo has with uh, Santal uh, 33. 
33? I'm drawing a blank with the name. But yeah, uh, this is not that. Uh, but I love what I'm smelling here. It's a different kind of uh, sandalwood once again. Not necessarily very creamy, the kind I like, but definitely very pleasant here. Laundry clean freshness, fruitiness, some leathery metallic touches, and uh, of course the violet and ambroxan. Really, I think it's going to satisfy. But anyway, those are my thoughts on these four fragrances from Les Eaux Primordiales. Are you familiar with this brand? Those of you that live in France have easy access to this brand. Have you checked out the brand? What are your thoughts about the brand? And those of you that are in the States, have you checked them out? And after watching this video, if you haven't checked them out, are you intrigued? I'm really, really all over this house. Really, really love everything about this brand. And so hopefully I'll do more videos on their fragrances because they seem to be, they say they seem to have a lot of fragrances and hopefully I can report back. But I hope you guys get to check out these fragrances and those of you that are local, go visit Ministry of Scent and check them out as well. Get your nose on these fragrances and uh, you know report back on what you think. Anyway, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one, goodbye. The next three fragrances I have as small little sample bottles, large sample bottles I should say, small bottles, large sample bottles, and the three fragrances I'm going to talk to you about are Color Premier, Cedra Super Fluid, and also Vanille Super Massive. So when I was on my way to Europe on the last trip, I had a two-day layover in London, instantly went to Harrods and sampled fragrances. I sampled Vanille Super Massive, loved it. Loved it. It's a vanilla fragrance, but not necessarily super sugary and uh, just a really great uh, creation, I think, and totally, totally fits with the brand, matches everything about the brand, and one that's going to be very popular, especially uh, now that it's kind of rolling out. I believe it was exclusively selling at Harrods for a while. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it'll eventually make it here. But let's talk about Color Premier first. Color Premier is a fragrance filled with loads of aldehydes. So once again, we've got a laundry clean fragrance here. It's aldehydic with aldehydes, ambroxan, musks, peony, pear, jasmine, and rose. I think this is a fairly popular fragrance from the brand next to the Ombre Superfluide, and I can see why. If you like fragrances like Blanche by Byredo, you're definitely gonna like this one because it's in that kind of style. But for me, it's very powdery, it's fresh. You've got ozonic characteristics here, lightly fruity in the pear, and it's fruitiness. It's not like uber fruity, even though it's fruity with the pear. Really does connect with all the other notes that are kind of like more ethereal, kind of clean and soapy and things like that. But you got floral characteristics here, soapiness, the, the cleanness, and of course, uh, powderiness. And definitely very bubbly. This is a sparkling fragrance. Let's go ahead and quickly smell it. This is what I have here. Totally sparkling. You know, when you put your nose on the aldehydes for this, there is a little bit of a light, boozy, more like wine bubbles kind of touch. So it's not necessarily boozy like spirits and things like that, but more of the actual fizz from opening up a bottle of champagne and you're smelling the grapes kind of thing. But not necessarily in a big way, just kind of more like in the back, really back, hidden. Because of the fizziness and how I experience champagne bubbles, I'm getting a bit of a reminder. It's tingling my nose actually, but really great. Really, really wonderful offering. Very clean, very fresh, very soapy. And again, Blanche definitely comes to mind. I think it's a little better than Blanche actually. So those of you that are into Blanche, definitely check Color Premiere. But let's try Cedra Superfluid. This is it right here. It's once again, one of the fragrances in the dark bottles. But the color premiere that I just spoke about is in one of these uh, clear bottles. So this Cedra Superfluid is a fragrance featuring cedar, obviously. It's Atlas Cedar, Rose, Everlasting Flower, Australian Sandalwood, Vanilla, Ambroxan, Saffron, Plums, Pink Pepper, and Thyme. Again, all of the fragrances are created by Arnold Polan, the man behind the brand, and also Emily Bourgeois, perfumer that I've mentioned earlier. She does some great work and they've done some magic together with the fragrances from this house. So let's go ahead and smell Cedra Superfluid. This is the one I don't know 
I know the least about, I should say. I know a lot about the other fragrances, but the Cedra Superfluid is fairly new to me, so I'm gonna sniff on camera for the first time. So it's in the end a spicy kind of a take on woods, but um, the pink pepper is prominent, although I think I'm also getting a bit of black pepper in this. Quite woody, but this is the kind of woody fragrance that's also really great to wear. It's not boring, because I always mention woody fragrances can get boring. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. In the end, it's dry, and woody fragrances are dry. They have the dry characteristics. And I said that there's a bit of a black peppery touch, and most likely it's the pink pepper, which is also giving me a bit of like an incense -y vibe in here. But everything, again, very, very refined. This is a really sexy, really, really sexy fragrance. And I feel like I'm also getting a bunch of ambroxan in this to create that kind of amber, musky kind of characteristic in the fragrance. Really wonderful. That's uh, super delicious. And save the best for last. I don't know if this is best for me yet because I haven't really fully worn it, but I've smelled it in passing here and there. As I said, I smelled this one at Harrods. This is Vanille Supermassive. This is it right here. So vanilla fragrance done in the way of Les Eaux Primordiales. It's vanilla, labdanum, caramel, patchouli, elemi, ambroxan, cinnamon, white musks, bergamot, fir balsam. So let's go ahead and smell. Yeah. This is the vanilla kind of fragrance for those that don't like vanilla. It doesn't get sugary sweet, doesn't get syrupy sweet. It's drier, but definitely amberier. The caramel comes in, but still doesn't give you that sticky consistency in the fragrance. White musks, definitely. The fir balsam, for sure. I mean, ambery, patchouli, I think everything is the right amount. Everything about this fragrance, really, really top notch. Again, I specifically selected my favorites from the brand. They might have more fragrances. We'll have to dig in them more. And when I first smelled Vanille Supermassive at Harrods, I was like, damn, that's good. It was also hot. When I got there, it was really warm. So I think it just shined and bloomed on me. Really love it. So hopefully I'll be able to do a full review on Vanille Supermassive when I get a bottle. But uh, those are my thoughts on this house. Hopefully you guys will get to discover the fragrances. Again, if you're in the city or nearby, go to Ministry of Scent and check them out. Or you can visit the store via the links in my info box. Anyway, thanks so much for tuning in. Stay tuned for another video very soon. Bye-bye.